Do you or your sales team need to sell more? You probably do. I mean, every business needs to sell more. Have you ever thought about using video to do that? Now, you might have, and kudos to you if you have. I mean, video is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Uh, your customers are probably expecting it from you. But how do you go about using video? How do you go about empowering your sales team to be creating videos themselves? Well, in this video, we're gonna share three tips on how to sell more using the power of video. So you want to learn how? Keep watching. Every business lives and dies with sales, right? It has to happen. Otherwise, you don't have a business. Video is a powerful tool, a powerful tool to sell a product, a service, a business, an idea. It's, it's powerful also because once you record it, it keeps working for you. It allows you to be in many places at once to, to be able to reach a, a broader audience, all to sell more. There are three uh, ways or tips that I'm gonna share on how you can be using video, and I'm gonna break them each of them down of how you can then apply it when you're creating a video. The first tip to selling more using video is make sure it's visually engaging and entertaining. Video is obviously a visual medium. You're, you're seeing something, right? And so in order to really utilize the power of this platform, this medium, you need to make it visually engaging and visually stimulating to watch. Uh, being able to show off your product of how it works. Ideally, it's a product that is visually engaging. Well, then great, now you should be using video. Being able to go somewhere, see something that someone can't normally see helps make it visually engaging. Showing off really cool B-roll or animation. Now, this is definitely a, a, a big area that video uh, is a powerful way to use when you're trying to take a complex idea and break it down to understand, okay, how does it, what does this actually mean? Using simple animation or more advanced animation to explain that is a powerful way to use video. But what if your product or your service is not visually engaging? It's not interesting to look at or see, or just, you're just talking about it, and you don't have a budget for the animation stuff. Well, then just make it entertaining. Make sure the person who's on uh, camera, who, who you're watching, is engaging and entertaining to watch. Ideally, you pick someone within your company that is approachable and likable on camera. If they're not, they're, you can still choose someone with the potential of it, and it's a skill you can grow in with enough practice, just keep making videos, and that, can pull people in. I mean, we're used to watching TV and YouTube videos because they're entertaining. We like to watch them. So you can still apply the same concept to your own videos in your business. Just make them entertaining and engaging. But if it's not entertaining, if the content isn't entertaining or just can't make it entertaining and it's just not visually engaging, you may not need to make a video. Maybe just having it as text will be just enough. Video doesn't need to be used for everything. The second tip to using video to sell more is understanding and utilizing the power of human connection. Human connection. All right, you're like, come on, Alex, what the heck is this human connection thing? It's the ability to see another human being and connect with them on our humanity, our human level. This is where text fails miserably. You can't just read something and, and be able to understand and, and feel them. I mean, 93% of the way we communicate is nonverbal. It's, it's our vocal inflection, it's our body language. Being able to see that and, and be pulled in really helps sell because people buy something based off of another emotion, not just only that, well, I think I should buy that, so I'll buy that because of all this data analytics. Most often it comes down to just the emotion and the human connection is that powerful, powerful tool that you should be utilizing. Your salespeople should be utilizing. Uh, there are also a lot of cool videos you can create that are one-on-one, -on -one, customizable, using tools like uh, BombBomb or Soapbox or GoVideo. All these tools are, are, are Chrome extensions that you can use your webcam and just have a conversation with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. It's like when you, when you can't be there, but it's like they can be with you. See, in today's age where anybody can just throw up a website and have a company and say, oh, no, buy my stuff, people are like, mm, I don't think so. Too many times we've been burned, we're not unsure. That's where video comes in. It helps with the authenticity. You can't, you can't hide behind showing your face. You can't fake a video. 
not quite yet. So when somebody's able to watch a video and see the people behind the company, the opportunity for sales increases dramatically. The third tip to using video to sell more is using the power a storytelling. Storytelling. Everyone loves a good story. Just like everyone loves to be entertained, everyone enjoys a good story. So how can you apply this in your own business's videos? I mean, the, the simplest and easy one is to tell the story of your customer, your past customer, your past client. This is called a testimonial, a case study, a customer success story has many names. But the idea for a past customer to share their experience with you on video, again, helps with that human connection, and it helps your potential customer watching this video imagine themselves in, in, in that person's shoes and say, well, if I was to work with your business or buy your product or whatever that service may be, I could feel like this person and they can identify with them. Having that story engages someone. And, and again, storytelling, because of the visual medium and the human connection, it all builds. And someone says, wow, I should really buy that. It really helps in the sales process. So a t customer testimonial is a fabulous place to start and, and is easy to roll out to your sales team that they should be capturing on a regular basis. And you can up the production value to make it even more visually engaging, but it's still good to get them uh, just even if you can't afford a full production team or, or a lot of who you know who, hoopla and make it really fascinating to watch, it's still the story. It's the content where it starts. I've even seen where people take a just audio file and what they do is then animate the story in front. So if you don't have good visual footage that was recorded, you could go back and create an animation that tells it. There's many ways you can spin this. Another story you can tell is your own. Now, this could be your team members, uh, your, your leadership, your sales team, or the company's history. Telling a story of how you got to where you are can be another good sales tool. Now, this is only comes into play when they, people actually care about you and your company or your salespeople. But if you look at the sales funnel as they're coming down, the awareness, they're not going to care about it. But consideration and decision stages, they're, they're probably, it's like an according type relationship. They're like, I want to know you a little bit more before I sign on the dotted line. Uh, they want to see, okay, do I like these people? Where do they come from? How did they get to where they are? It also can help in retention. People who've already bought, it reminds them, oh yeah, that's right, I like them. They're cool people. I'm glad I did buy from them. I should tell my friend. Video, telling your story on video, again, is a powerful tool. And because of the efficiencies of it, you record it once, you can share it all over with many people. It helps scale your sales efforts. So those are three tips for selling more using video. Keep it visually engaging and entertaining. Utilize the power of the human connection and tell a story. If you'd like more tips on creating better business videos, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Hit that little bell icon to get notified the next time a video is online. I'm Alex with your local studio. We'll see you next time.